Good evening, dear friend. To this edition of the Sleep Unknown Chronicle, your nightly passage to peace, a night as the world softens its pace. We begin our descent into dreamland. It's a world where anxieties melt away, leaving only the soothing symphony of the night. Settle into your snug haven. Allow your eyelids to flutter closed and be enveloped by the tender night. Let every lingering thought drift away as you yield to the comforting embrace that lies ahead. Together, let's journey into a slumber filled with dreams that await to cradle your soul. In the gentle quiet of a world unseen where time waits, the delicate threads of a new life, our story begins. It is a tale not spoken, but fant. A rhythmic dance of existence that starts with a single heartbeat, echoing in a basket of love and possibility. And that heartbeat, that whisper of life, rattled in the nurturing embrace of my mother's womb, a cocoon of warmth where every pulse is a note in a symphony of creation, and every movement a brush stroke on the canvas of becoming. This is the prenu to my journey. A journey from the tranquil waters of the womb to the embracing light of the world. It is a voyage filled with the anticipation of love's first touch, the melody of family's first lullaby, and the harmony of home's eternal comfort. To you, my awaiting family, who have tardied the stars in preparation for my arrival, I have felt every vibration of your laughter, every trauma of your joy, you have been with me from the very beginning. Your voice is the guiding light through the silent darkness. And now, the time draws near. The stage is set, the audience hushed, the lights dimmed. I hear little whim, am ready to take my first breath. To see my first sunrise, to meet the world that has been a dream. A whisper soon to be a song. So, let this prelude set the stage for the story. We are about to write together. A story of firsts, of discovery, of the boundless land that binds us. The curtain rises on the first chapter of my life, and I reach out with tiny hands to turn the pages with a heart full of wonder and eyes open to the dawn of a new beginning. I am here, the prologue to a lifelong adventure, a prologue to love, your little one. From silence to symphony, a new life prelude, a tiny tale begins. Once upon a twinkle, in the cozy nooks of mommy's tummy, something teeny teeny chapinced, a sparkly hello from a wee little me. They call me a Ms. Igog. But I like to think of myself as a whisper of love, the kind that's too quiet to hear, that you can feel it in your heart. Why am I here, you ask? It's because two very special puzzle pieces found each other in the great bid puzzle with the universe. One from mommy, one from daddy, and together they decided, let's make magic. And the magic was me? I don't have a wand or a fairy hat, but I've got something even better I'm the start of a brand new story, and who doesn't love stories? Now, on on an adventure, a journey to find my snappy spot at a place called Larderless. But it feels more like the entire is going to be my home. It's warm here, honey, and even though I can't see it, I know it's the kind of place that's perfect for dreaming. Along the way, I'm getting bigger. No, not big. Like you think I'm big? More like going from a dot to a... Slightly dot. But it's a big deal for me. It's a little like blowing up a balloon, except instead of air, it's life that's puffing me up. And I'm not just growing, I'm doubling. Imagine if you could split into two of you, just by wishing it. Wouldn't that be fun? But why do I keep doubling like this? <sighs> it's because I have so much of me to make. There's going to be fingers for finger painting and toes for toe sparkling, and a nose for well. Well, I'm not sure what noses are for yet, 
but I'll find out. Every split is like a whispered secret from me to me, saying you're going to need lots of cells to be the most wonderful you. And how am I traveling to my special snuggle spa? By the most magical red of oil, floating. It's a bit of a kind of bubble under the sea, drifting down, 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 down to the cozy sea beds. But instead of fishies and water, it's all the love from mommy that's carrying me along. It's nice to float on love, don't you think? What am I doing right now? Well, I'm getting ready to cuddle into the lining of mommy's uterus. It's a bit like finding the softest, fluffiest cloud in the sky and laying down to nap. They call it simcomanting. And it makes me feel all giddy inside. Like I'm giggling without making a sound. When all this happening, it's happening in the whispery shadows of time. Where everything is just beginning. And every moment is a maybe that's turning into it definitely. It's like the very first page of the very best book. Where you know you're about to meet your new favorite character. So, there you have it. The tale of a tiny dot called an I, just starting out. I'm a little mystery, a bundle of bee, two baths, and I'm Leand, not to say. And even though I'm only as big as a little fire as wink, I've got a head full of hope that's ready to grow. Good night for now, or maybe it's good morning. In here, it's all the same. But I'll have more to tell you soon. Because every day is a new chapter. And my story's just begun. The voyage deepens. Hey there. It's me again. Remember the tiny whisper of love from last time? That's me. Well, um, guess what? I'm on the move, like a tiny explorer in the vast ocean of mummy's belly. It's week two in my very own storybook, and oh, the tales I have to tell. So why am I still on this squishy journey, you wonder? It's because I'm looking for the perfect spot to snuggle down and get really, really comfy. The kind of comfy. That's like being wrapped up in a hunt that lasts for months. And how am I moving? Well, it's not with lands or wings, because I don't have those yet. It's like I'm on a magic carpet ride. But the carpet is made of mommy's lump and mu- Now, what am I doing? I'm getting all cozy and ready to stick like a starfish to the side of a rock. But this isn't just any rock. There's the lying in eyeing mommy's womb, and it's the snuggliest place to be. They call this an implantation, and it's like the universe is put in a tiny, you are here, 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 sticker on my map of life. When in is all this happening? In the second week, when the world is still new, and every moment is a step towards something amazing. Why am I? Inside a place as warm as a sunbeam, where everything I need is right here. I'm not lonely on my voyage, because I've got lots of cells with me. Friends, you might say. But why split up into different parts, you ask? It's because being just one thing isn't enough when you're going to be a person. You need lots of bits and bulbs to do all the person things. Like singing silly songs, doing the wiggle worm dance, and giving butterfly kisses. And guess what else? As I'm settling in, I'm starting to build the most magical thing of call. A connection to mommy that's going to feed me and keep me safe. It's called the placenta. But I like to call it the blunder. Super snap bar. It's where I'll get all my yum yums and grow big and strong. It's been a bit of a bumpy ride with all the floating and trolling, but I'm almost there. I can almost feel the cushy walls of my new home. It's a bit like being the littlest bird in the snuggest. So, here's to week two. A chapter full of floating dreams and the teeniest of adventures. Stay tuned. 
because I have a feeling things are about to get even more wonder-filled. There's a whole world in here, and I'm just getting started on uncovering its secrets. Good night. Though, is it good day? And remember, even though you can't see me, I'm here, growing a little more with every heartbeat. And I can't wait to share it all with you. The Cozy Nestling Hello, Co. Oh, there. It's me again. Your tiny friend who's been floating and bobbing along inside Mommy's tummy. I've reached week three. And oh boy, our girl, I don't know me yet. Things are getting super duper interesting in here. So what's happening this week? Oh, I found my snuggle spot. It's soft, it's warm, and it's just right for a little one like me. It's like being the pea in the princess's bed. Except instead of mattresses, there's this fluffy lining around me. White hair. Because it's the perfect place for me to grow and get ready to be born. It's my very own special space in mommy's womb. And it's going to be my home for a long while. And you know what's really exciting? I'm not just a nor, zygote. Anymore. I'm becoming an embryo, which is a fancy way of starting to have some bits that look a bit more like a person. How am I doing that? It's like magic. But instead of a wand, my body is using something called DNA. It's a super special recipe that tells all my little cells exactly what to do to make a me. I? I'm sort of like a tiny teddy. Bear that's being stitched together, piece by piece, bit by bit. There's a lot of stuff going on that I can't see, but I can feel it. Like, there's this place that's going to be my heart, and it's getting ready to start beating. But, though, there's more. I'm also starting to grow a place that'll be my brain. It's not thinking thoughts yet, but it will be. It's going to be like the captain of my ship steering me through all sorts of adventures. Like learning to walk, eating mashed bananas, and playing peekaboo. Where am I right now? Well, I'm tucked away in a corner of mommy's uterus, and it's getting cozier by the minute. I'm like a pearl in a shell, just starting to shine. And when is all this happening? Right? This very second. Isn't that just the wildest thing? I'm still really, really small. So small that it need me a magnifying glass to see me. But even though I'm small, I've got big dreams. So, that's the news from Wick Free. It's a bit like being in the best hide-and-seek spot ever. And I'm waiting for the day when I can jump out and say... Here I am. Uh, but for now, I'll just keep on growing and dream and bring the littlest whisper of love. Night and night, or morning, or afternoon. Term is a bit funny in here, isn't it? But no matter what time it is, remember, I'm here, doing my very important growing job, and feeling all the snuggles from mommy. Talk to you soon. When I have even more to share. The Tiny Heart's Melody Hi, <sighs> it's me again, your tiny buddy in the cozy world of Mommy's belly. It's week four now, and I can't wait to share the latest news. So gather around, because my little life is getting a heartbeat. Well, a heartbeat? You ask? Well, it's like this land there. Every castle needs a king, and every band needs a drummer. My heart is going to be both for me. It's starting to build its throne and tap out the very first beats of my life's song. It's a wee bit of a miracle. Um, them thumpers. That whispers, Hey, I'm here. And I'm alive. And how is this happening? It's all thanks to them. What else is going on? You're wondering. There's a whole bunch of things. 
I'm not just a round little dot anymore. I'm stretching out, making room for all the parts of me that will help me Han, jump, and maybe even do somersaults one day. I'm getting ready to do all the fun things that kids do. Where am I in all this? Still snuggled up in the same special spa. But it's like I'm under construction. If you peeked in, you'd see the builders at work laying down the bricks that will be my arms and legs and painting the walls that will be my skin. And when is this all happening? I don't know. Every moment, something new is being added to the little wonder that is me. But why all these changes? This week, it's like I'm on a treasure hunt, and every day I find a piece of gold and new part of me. My heart is the most precious treasure so far. It's going to let me run around with my puppy, laugh at daddy's funny faces, and sleep to the lullabies that mommy sings. I'm still very, very tiny though. You could see me. I'd be smaller than a jelly bean. Be even a jelly bean can be super special. Especially when it's growing to a person. <sighs> so good night, or maybe it's good day. I'm not too sure about time yet. But whatever time it is, that's the perfect time to grow. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'll be back soon to tell you all about the new wonders. I find as I grow a little bit more, it's going to be a fantastic journey. And I'm just thrilled to hear with me for it. The blossoming of form. Hello, world. It's your pine sized pal here. Snug is a bug in the world's most special hideaway. Week five has arrived, and it's a big one, full of the stuff of fairy tales and dreams coming true. Wow, why is week five so special? Because, my dear friends, this is the week where I start to get a teeny tiny bit more person -sy. You see, there's this thing called the neural tree. And it's going to be my brain and spine. Imagine that. It's like the main street where all the thoughts in the town of Ming and Yil go parading down. And how is this all happening? Make a master painter with a brush. Something inside me is painting all these wonderful parts into existence. It's so busy in here, you'd think it was the busiest bee in the busiest beehive in the world. Oh, Elsa's new. You're curious to know. While well, my heart's been practicing its bee. And now it's got a rhythm you could dance to. It's not just not lump then anymore. It's more like the beep beat of a drum calling everyone to the dance floor. Where am I in all this? Still in mommy's tummy, which is the best nest ever. But I'm growing oh so slowly, stretching my back. That's going to be so long and strong. And when is all this happening? Right at this very twinkling star of a moment. But why did I need a brain and a spine? Because I've got big plans, folks. I'm going to think great thoughts. Like, why is the sky blue? And that many jelly beans make a handful. I'm going to run and leap and do cartwheels. No, maybe not right away. But you get the idea. This week is like I'm the main character and the most thrilling story ever told. I'm growing a brain that will dream of dragons and a spine that will let me swing from the monkey bars and my heart. It's going to love. Oh, how it's going to love. I'm still tiny, so small that you might not see me if you're not looking really, really closely. But even the smallest seed can grow into the grandest tree. And I'm on my way to becoming the grandest me. So, good night for now. Or good morning. Or maybe it's tea time. Time's still a bit wobbly wobbly for me. But whatever time it is, it's the perfect time for a little bit of magic. And that's where growing is its magic. And it's happening every second. 
I'll be back to tell you all about the next steps in my grand adventure. There's so much more to come. I'm just buzzing with excitement to share it with you, a portrait miniature. Hi again. It's your tiny friend in the great big belly. I've reached week slakes, and it's like I've stumbled upon a hidden garden where everything is about to bloom. Why is this week a treasure trove, you wonder? Because my tiny, beam-shaped world is blossoming with the beginnings of my very own arms and legs. Imagine that. Wings. They're like the branches I'll swing from in my dreams, the very ones I'll use to reach for the stars. And the same ones that will hug mommy and daddy tight. How are these wondrous things happening? With a dash of magic and a sprinkle of love, my body knows just what to do. It's like nature's secret recipe. And on the cake, he came to perfection in the oven of Laya. What else is new, you ask with twinkling eyes? That there's a lot. My heart's been busy. It's since divided into right and left chambers now. A duplex to pump joy throughout my tiny home. And there's even more. My very own facial features are beginning to take shape. It's a bit like someone's drawing a cartoon. And I'm the star. Where am I in all this? Nestled right here in Mommy's tummy, which is the nicest corner in the universe. And when is all this happening? In this magical moment called a now? Where every second is a brush stroke on the canvas of me. Why do I need all these things like arms and legs and a face? Well, because I've got big plans. Plans to play peekable, to pashable, to express all the new. And lastly, when I see balloons flirt up to the sky for the very first time. This week, I'm like a little artist at work. And every day adds a splash of color, a new line, a hint of what's to come. It's like drawing the best picture ever. But the picture is me, and I'm more than just a sketch now. Even though I'm still as small as a pea in a pod, I've got dreams as big as the whole wide world. Dreams of laughter adventures, and so many firsts that are just waiting for me around the corner. So good night for now. Well, whatever time it is in the world beyond, here in the belly, it's always the perfect time to a cuddle and a dream. And trust me, there's a lot of dreaming to do. I can't wait to share more with you next time. There's going to be so much more of me to learn. And then just wiggling with excitement thinking about it. The whispers of tomorrow. Hello from the tiny universe that's shaping up inside Mommy's hug. It's week seven, and Myla little starship is cruising through the galaxy of growth. Why is this week like unwrapping a present? Because every moment is a surprise, unfurling a little more of me. My arms and legs aren't just tiny birds anymore. They're stretching out, reaching for the stars that I one day hope to touch. Brer. The branches where my future swings will hang, the limbs that will run through fields of trees, and the tools I'll use to build castles in the sand. How does it all work, you ponder? With the most incredible magic trick of all, my body is weaving together all these marvelous things. Teeny bones, little muscles, itty bitty veins, all the bits and pieces that will let me play tag with the wind. What else is new? In my cozy corner. There's the tag 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 of my tiny heart, now beating with the rhythm of a soft lullaby. The kind that suits you into dreams of candy clouds and jelly bean rainbows. And there's more. My face is getting details. Where there are smooth hills, now there are varies for my smile. Mountains where my nose, and lakes where my eyes will sparkle. Where am I in all this? I'm still the secret passenger in the safest spa. My ship, Mom is belly.
And when is this happening? At a time when every second is a grish stroke on the canvas of creation, painting the nani. That will be. Why do I need all these new things? Because there's a big world out there, filled with wonders. White butterflies that dance and peppies that give wet nose kisses. I need to be ready to explore every nook and cranny of the adventure called life. This week I feel like a tiny conductor orchestrating the symphony of my own development. Each new cell. A uh, note. Every organ. An instrument. I'm coming together in a crescendo of growth. It's a song that only I can hear right now. But soon. Oh so soon. I'll share it with everyone. Even though I'm still a secret, hidden away from sight. My presence is like a whisper of joy in the quiet light. On the promise of laughter. A hope of hugs. And the certainty of love. So, good night for now. Or maybe it's good afternoon. Here in the belly, time is a cuddle. Always just right. I'll be back with more tales of my tiny triumphs. Each day is a step closer to the grand moment when I can say, where I am will, and I just can't wait for that day. The canvas of me. Kia, it's your mani again. Broadcasting live from the comfy kicking in mommy's belly. Welcome to week 8, where every day is a brand new brush drop on the masterpiece that is me. Why is this week super special, you wonder? Oh, my little world is buzzing with the work of a million little builders, all crafting thin nooks and crannies that make a person unique. My tiny heart has been practicing it so much that it's now got four separate rooms. Can you believe it? It's like my heart's a little house all on its own, pumping life and life through my teeny body. How is all this happening, you think? Imagine the most intricate dance where every step, every twirl, every leap is planned out to perfection. That's my cells for you. They're the dancers and they're putting on the performance of a lifetime, all to the tune of mommy's heartbeat. What's the latest gossip from inside the womb? Well, my arms and legs aren't just tiny twigs in a morn. They're getting elbows and knees. Soon. They'll learn how to wave and kick. And guess what? I even got the beginnings of fingers and toes. They're not ready to be counted just yet. But they will be. And that's be pinky promise. Where am I on this magical journey? I'm nestled right here, in the cradle of creation, where every moment brings a new wonder. And when is all this happening? In the now, the present, where life's painting is being filled in with vibrant colors and shades of joy. Why do I need all these new bits and bobs? Because there's a big, bright, beautiful world out there, waiting for me to touch taste, see, hear, and smell. I'm going to need every single part of me to hug, to learn, to play, and to live. This week, it's as if I'm the main character in the most enchanting story ever told, and the plot is thickening with every passing day. I'm more me than I was before. It's a journey of becoming, of unfolding, like a tiny bud ready to bloom under the most delightful flower in the garden. Even though I'm still tiny, tiny enough to fit in the palm of your hand. My dreams are as vast as the ocean. Dreams of giggles and bedtime stories, of sandy tories and splashy bats. So good night for now, or is it good morning? And here? Time is just a lullaby away. Next time, I'll have even more to share. As I grow and prepare for the grand day. When I'll finally get to meet you. Huh. <sighs>
Until then, I'll keep on dreaming and growing here in my secret little world.